Good uh, afternoon, uh, Ross Mitchell here. I'm just doing a bit of an update on this uh, battery bank of mine. Um, yeah, I've virtually finished it. I've added a few components, changed a few things uh, to make it a little bit more easier. I've uh, swapped the front plate over um, to compare to what I originally uh, done. So uh, yeah, I'll give you a look at it uh, and a little bit of a rundown. Oh, this is the battery box. Um, you can actually see how the plate front plate goes. I end up first one I did, which was the red one here. Um, you can actually see the plate is actually the other way around, which is what. Of course, I had trouble with the uh, the cabling length, which is these cablings here. I'm actually able to get longer cables for each one of those, and a little um, little. How do you say an extension male female on that and that one's supposed to be red but I've got a longer one there there or half give me half a meter of length and that has allowed me to swap the front plate over on that I'm actually just uh, charging it at the moment uh, just a trickle charge on a couple of batteries you can actually see the plastic uh, uh, that I've actually got there's actually a uh, security security um, uh, thing for liking banks and stuff like that. I've mounted it all on the plastic I have, little spaces. Um, if you look in here, uh, I can open it up a bit more but just prized it in. You can actually see where I've put all the uh, balancing cables from each set. Uh, I've actually put fuses on uh, each. You can see uh, they're all 5 amp fuses. Everything's 5 amp fuses. Uh, I've got these uh, Chinese Waco connections to uh, to extend it and what I've done here uh, if you look at uh, I'll put an inline joiner for all that cabling so I can actually break the top uh, away from the bottom um, without actually having to worry about too much um, I've actually in this cabling side of it if you look look in here I've got 16 mil cable either side of that and I've got 32 mil cable joining each one so technically it's uh, those two 16 mil cables are paired up into the breaker uh, it is same as back to the battery so I'll, I'll put 16 mil cable instead of uh, what is it 35 mil is it or 32 mil so I've got a little bit more flex and stuff like that the uh, heavier cable just didn't give me enough uh, flex on side of that I've actually run uh, that's a uh, for the BMS um, it's actually got a 5 amp fuse I've actually come out of the uh, 48 volts or uh, nominal voltage and uh, what that is going to do this is the Stuart Petaway uh, basically BMS board I've actually come out of the battery I've actually put a uh, I think it's 1.2 ohm uh, inline fuse so I can actually um, limit the current uh, so I'm actually so the fuse doesn't blow when you first hook it up This is a little device. I've only picked up uh, uh, This morning that I got from Mouser uh, in the US and It'll take uh, I think it's up to 70 or 80 volts and gives me a 5 volt output and that 5 a 5 volt output is an isolated output So there's no feedback or loop or anything like that that then goes into a uh, little USB plug and then that powers the uh, the board uh, you see there if I touch that there uh, gives you an idea of the feed on that this has got the uh, the latest software version uh, on that board which is December 2023 this is the Stuart's uh, uh, all-in-one board it'll actually take 16 uh, cells Instead of individual um, boards for each individual cell, this is an all-in-one. I've, I've labelled all the cables um, uh, from 0 through to 16. Uh, you can see I've shortened the, uh, the BMS cables. Uh, that's a bit of Velcro um, stuff, double-sided uh, Velcro. So it actually makes it all neat and tidy. So uh, I've done a firmware update um, to version that I got off from uh, the off grid garage Andy's website um, if I go into here uh, where are we 
we'll bring it back to life. Alright, gotta do that first, that's it. Right, that gives you an idea of the uh, readout, I'm 100% at the moment. Uh, that is the cell uh, monitoring side of things. And the alarms, I'll just go through there, page one into the other. I've got a few spare holes, I wasn't quite sure how many holes I want for the front panelling or whether the Wi-Fi, when the actual lid goes on, if you look at there, there's a, a lid go in each one. There's another uh, another box here I'm building. There's three all, all up that, uh, that I'm building. Uh, big blue, big red are just about all done. So this this big red, I'm actually got to actually undo the front plate, which, which all comes apart. And I'm going to turn it all up the other way. So these these leads here aren't too close to the ground, which was originally done, but because of the BMS. Uh, cabling, I was limited to length, but now that I've got these extensions, uh, I can do all that to give you an idea. That's one of the male, uh, female extension leads that I've got. That was one of the original ones, and I've got them in a uh, in a longer lead. If you look in here, I'll just grab this other lead. There's uh, there's the longer lead. That's half a meter IDC um, plug. And uh, what else? That gives you an idea of just hang five. That is the other half a metre uh, plug uh, for the extended because they only come with 300 mil leads, which might uh, sort the average Joe Blow out, but because of the layout of the box, uh, I am limited to um, to length of cabling, and I found them too too short. But I've solved that problem. I'll just give you a bit of a lead up. Onto the um, the Stuart Petaway's um, VMS uh, setup. I'll just right. Oh, this is a, just give an idea. I'm on. Uh, this is Stuart Petaway's VMS uh, interface um, that you're seeing there. It just gives me the deviation of the high to low cells, which is 34 millivolts, 54.52 volts now if you look at that you give you an idea the temperatures are all the same but it actually comes with four temperature sensors I actually haven't really uh, placed them it gives you the reading of what the highest part of that voltage was uh, when the first started uh, charging this morning um, so to give you a bit of an idea I run um, some stuff here I'll just go into here I'll go integration and I run uh, MQTT there, um, set the settings for, I run a, an E1 Pi. If I go into my E1 Pi, just bear with me, I'm just going back out of here. I'll go to the E1 Pi and give you an idea, because I've got two batteries going. Um, that's a, one more battery. That's the big red. You see there, you'll see... Uh, all the voltages over on that side um, for various scenes give me my range of voltage uh, 27 millivolts difference just there then I've got the 12 kilowatt one's 14 and one's 12 one battery's got uh, 280 amp hours the other one's got 230 amp hour batteries in it, it gives me the, the overall voltage the delta and the best thing about this I can actually go into graphs and I can actually go and have a look at say um, Big Blue and that gives you an idea of what is it the last 12 hours of charging because uh, it's only been on idle, idle you can see where it's actually started charging up today you can actually see the little bounces and stuff like that all that tells you that they're the cells that are actually going from the high cells to the low cells to bring it back into balance. You can see all the other cells are balancing quite fine. So if I go out of the big blue and I'll go back to the, the graphs and I'll go back to the, the big red. And that gives you an idea of the, the big red that is um, coming back into balance. I've also got another one that is actually on Home Assistant. I haven't put Stuart's uh, setup on it, but I'll give you an idea, which is the one I'm running the household at the moment. 
which is a 14 kilowatt battery and that gives you an idea of the JK BMS uh, with a bit of monitoring you can actually see where it's gone from bulk down to float just there what's that about uh, 11.30 uh, this morning so the best thing about uh, monitoring is uh, you can actually see its history so uh, uh, giving all that uh, information and able to data log it uh, is really really uh, grand because if you've got something going wrong on or going wrong with it uh, you want to find out actually what the cell voltages are at a particular time if you had a, a trip on uh, low voltage or high voltage on a cell or the overall bank voltage and with Stuart Petaway's uh, uh, DIY BMS it allows me to do all that facilities through MQTT and uh, it, uh, it's really really grand so I'm quite happy uh, at the moment I've got uh, this other battery outside that I've got to change the nameplate and I've got the me crimson battery bank that I'm about to uh, to build uh, also um, which will come out of another box um, so I've got three boxes exactly the same they're all uh, portable on uh, on wheels so there's me my, uh, my crimson one um, that plates all the way around the right way which is quite good you can see all my little numbering bits and pieces and all the other ones um, you can actually see the little wheel frames I built for underneath makes them all uh, portable and stuff like that um, you can see where I've probably mounted uh, four holes in each corner that way uh, as you can see I can I can wheel them around uh, makes them a portable uh, type battery bank so um, yeah, it's all uh, all kosher, and I'm quite happy uh, with the end results. I will bring this uh, this battery bank and this one here, hopefully within the next uh, few days or by the end of the week, uh, into uh, another uh, battery bank. Just give you an idea. Hello, this is a, uh, a bit of a bunker I've built. Give you an idea. There, all the the uh, Victron uh, so forth and all the junctions to add uh, battery banks uh, this is one that I built many many years ago I'm just climbing up a ladder and that's that uh, 14 kilowatt battery that you can actually see um, battery one uh, all this will change a little bit more I'm just running a, a Victron uh, 5 kilowatt uh, Phoenix this is the battery box that I'm going to redo I've got a breaker uh, problem on that little raspberry pie running I'll just move this uh, out of the way and this is the one these got uh, just bear with me ah oh, things are in the way yeah this is the other battery bank that I'm going to strip out and change and this will go into the crimson uh, box it will so I'll have th three um, three of the boxes of these um, so all up there'll be two 14 kilowatt AR batteries and uh, two 12 kilowatt batteries um, just give you a bit of an idea on the layout it is um, yeah so forth I heat my hot water up by 48 volts just gives you an idea of what I'm using at the moment six amps on that one zero amps on on that um, yeah so I've got uh, lots more to uh, to finish uh, with a few modifications and the crimson one to go along with it. So uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a um, an update of where I'm uh, up to. Oh, well, thanks everybody. See ya.